Devil went down to Georgia looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. What's going on, people? Kev here. We're diving. And where's the other one? Other one. Cut. Say hi. Mommy. Hi. Hi. Doing something a little different this week. Um, I'm going to Georgia, Savannah, actually. And um, one of my buddies, his name is Ken, he runs uh, a little, whatever I am, his version is uh, Cast Iron Savannah. And uh, he is, he's retiring from the uh, retail aspect of this stuff. So he's not going to sell online anymore. So he has a ton of common stuff that I'm going to take a look at. And uh, I am far away, but it's the beginning of Easter break. Um, it's supposed to be an 11 hour journey, but um, that, uh, well, yeah, it's 13 now because of the, the bridge collapse. So normally I would complain about something like that, but uh, inconvenience by two hours or, you know, crossing my fingers hopefully they can find some of the six missing people that's much more important but anyways i'm headed to georgia um i'm packing packing all my stuff i got a lot of empty crates to fill up i have a sleeping mattress for for camping and activities like this because i'm crazy and i'm, I'm basically uh i'm gonna attempt to get back so I can still celebrate Easter with my family. So I'm just going to turn around after dinner, start driving and sleep in a car. Old school. Road trip. <laughs> All right. It's uh, 3 a.m. I have to uh, load up on some caffeine. I got my uh, water stopped off at Quick Jack. It's uh, between Quick Check or um, Wawa for New Jersey. So uh, the Quick Check is literally a quarter mile down the street. So it usually wins for me. But not opposed to Wawa. Wawa is pretty good coffee. But uh, about to hit the road. I'm going to make several stops. But this was stop one. And um, yeah, I mean, seriously. <sighs> I never said I was normal. All right, I made it to Virginia. Stopped off at the Welcome Center to uh, make a deposit. Um, pretty clean facility, four out of five stars. Lost a star because it was a little bit of a, a urinal smell, but um, man, I'm making good time. I have half a tank of gas left but I'm going to uh, zip my lip and then uh, the next time I stop is probably going to be to eat lunch which is not my favorite thing to do on the road but um, let's get back at it. Time to get gas. Look, I'm from New Jersey and I could pump my own gas. Who knew? Yeah, some people are proud of that. They're like, uh, oh, in New Jersey, we pump our fish, we don't pump our gas. Well, calm down, meathead. I have a feeling that's on purpose. We might be the only state in the union to not pump our gas because we can't be trusted with flammable liquids. I mean, you ever see how some of us drive? Come on, man. Anyways, my, uh... Hey, Curly Pierce here. Am I ready to record how you work? Yowzers. My, my butt is starting to pucker up, thinking about how much money I'm going to spend in gas. And, uh, I'm like, maybe like halfway. I'm like right at the border of North Carolina. And I keep going, holy cow, look at that. Can you see that? That's a Quiznos. Dude, I haven't seen a Quiznos in a long time. Uh, I actually miss, they had some pretty good hot subs. 
Anyways, I'm gonna get back to it, make a pit stop myself, and then uh, hopefully we'll be there soon. There it is. If you don't know, you, now you know. The FedEx. Have you ever noticed that? The FedEx Arrow. So, once you see it, you can't unsee it. You're welcome. All right, it's finally uh, lunchtime, and uh, I don't feel like stopping and having real food. So, unfortunately, you have to pick and choose what you uh, suffer through. And I suffered through McDonald's. And um, but you can, uh, you know, avoid certain things if you want. Like I've been eating mostly kind of like carnivore-ish lately and um, so you can order off menu and I have a satchel of just burger patties like I don't know like three or four burger patties it's it's not ideal because it's still McDonald's and uh, I do want their fries because the salty goodness but french fries shouldn't have 14 ingredients you know so I just been you know, watching my sugar intake and then uh, lower carbs and using the right oils. And uh, I look the same, but uh, I feel better. I'm less achy, even though when I get up, I still, uh, oh, I still make old man noises. So I got to work on that. What's up? After 9,000 miles, I finally made it to Savannah. Savannah, Georgie. My buddy, Ken. Say hi. What's going on, everybody? This guy really stuck it to me, man, because he, he, he didn't tell me that the last 50 miles is all through, like, swamp and You're beach. From and uh, It was the worst. But who cares? We're here to do some business. I got a pile of stuff. I, I'm cherry-picking some of his collection because he's going to stop. You're going to stop the retail end of your... Yep. So no more. Well, you're still going to be cast iron Savannah. Oh yeah, I'm just going. I'm going legit. I'm working on uh, a book, and now I'm doing some work for Lodge. So, how cool is that, man? Just gonna, just gonna take it a new avenue. That's so, all. so calm down with the in real life sales with the yeah. pain in the butt people. Yes, that's you. Sometimes, <laughs> not always. Please, please buy my stuff. I oh, love them. But yes, yeah. but this guy works for Lodge, and he loves showing off his. I mean, I would say it's one of a kind. It is the world's largest collection of Lodge advertising managers. All right, now you're just being braggalicious. Yep. Yes, I am. But like, there are things like this little set, and he actually told me it's like not many made, and but it is missing one. But that's what keeps us going. Oh yeah. The like the the chance of finding it, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be in like a you know it's gonna be in like a thrift store, or this is gonna be at on like a kid oven yep. in a in a thrift the most, toy store the most or something place, uh, show us a couple of the uh dynamite ones well, like I, like show us so the one that everybody always goes to right it's the number two there's only 16 of these known in the collector community mine's not in great shape but i don't care it's mine yeah i i don't <laughs> I care one. about the uh it's not the perfect acne or the uh what's it like that uh what's that movie this is my rifle <laughs> there are many yeah. like it but this one is mine seriously <laughs> Um, that's one of the better ones. But um, what about the, show us the ones though. If oh, you, the one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So the standard hammered one, this would have been the prototype before they hammered the master pattern. So it's smooth. And then this one just happened to not get finished. So it didn't go through grinding it's and it didn't, grinding, go, it's very it didn't rough, go through but... shot. So steel shot is part of the process. So somebody kept that alive even though they were probably supposed to melt it back down. I, I think it just kind of fell off into or, a corner and someone went, oh, this is cool. Or, they or are it. you going to get someone in trouble at No, Lodge. no, no. This, this left Lodge in the that 40s cool, at the earliest. So just, whoever, whoever is, took that is long gone. <laughs> how many, uh, to summarize, to give people an idea, like this table is like eight feet long. And uh, how, how many yeah. pieces in total? Because I know um, you know the exact I'm number. I'm floating right around 160 right now. Doggy, like just man. But yeah, I I wanna I want to uh, you know if I had the time and, and you people had the patience, <laughs> yes you have yeah. to keep videos under 20 minutes. But I'm going through all this stuff and then I'm gonna go back in 
his workshop here. This camera kind of stinks in the dark, but um, he has he does cleaning for people, so these are all consignment, so no touchy touchy. Mm -hmm. Especially then, not that 14 lid, the old ooh, style lid. That one might disappear on the way back to Jersey. Ooh. And then look at all these. This this guy actually enjoys doing all these hurtful nooks and crannies. He's like into that stuff. And I wish I could have brought him all my stuff. But look at this. Look at these piles. But we have to... Uh, this is after you pulled some. And I pulled some. Yeah, the ones on the table are definite buys. But I got to go through this stuff. Spare battery chargers. Dude, this looks like my workshop. Yeah, you buy them when you see them. That is cool, man. Even like, I mean, come on. Table projects. Yep. Garden bench. Garden bench. This is cool. I'll do you one. I'll do you one better, bro. I have like a park bench that ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do the, it one yeah, day. Put the wood slats in. I'm gonna do it one yeah. day. This is. When am I gonna do it? This is an old um, gas heater. This would have been hooked oh up gosh. to the house. These bricks, when they made the bricks, they're made with asbestos. Oh no. So I've gotta be really careful with that one as I restore it. I'm probably gonna have to replace the bricks just so I don't accidentally kill somebody. Wow. But. I mean, I don't want your secret spots, but where the heck did you find that? That one walked up to me. I, I had one of my regulars call me and she said, here, I've got this, do you want it? Wow. And I said, <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> That's awesome. Man. All right, I got to put you people down and start going through stuff, but this has been quite a journey so far. Ken and his wife have taken me to this local jaunt called the Crab Shack, and we're going to get some... This is uh, the Crab Shack in Tybee Island, and we're going to get some crab and seafood boil. But look at this place. Look at all the... Uh... That's crazy. Look at the look at the view. That's crazy. See some five billion dollar houses and a dead boat, but whatever. Ignore that. This is just beautiful. The breeze is coming in, and we ordered food, and I'm gonna eat until I hate myself. Can't wait to show you. Are you kidding me? I, this is this is a sampler for one, one person. They do a big down here, don't they? I'm in trouble, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. All right, I had to stop off. I started driving tonight, and uh, there's no way I was gonna do the whole thing in one night. So I just drove until I found. Can you see it over there? It's a flying J. Really, in general, low gas prices, nice facilities. And I got lucky because, yay, it's right next to a Waffle House. I really stepped in it today. So I'm gonna go have breakfast and complete my journey home. <laughs> Welcome to Washington, D.C. It just uh, re-adjusted my time of arrival plus two hours, so I might not ever make it home to see what I got. Oh well. <laughs> After 14 hours, I just made it back. My, my welcoming crew. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. So it took a little longer than expected. Uh, oh, you noticed that I'm wearing the same exact clothes as earlier in the video. Oh, That's because too. I just did a quick turnaround trip. Um, basically, my wife said if I'm not back in time for Easter, she's going to reassign my gender with her bare hands yeah anyways so i went and just had dinner with ken and his wife 
started driving and then I got tired and I slept on that thing. You slept in the truck? Yeah, look at the mattress. You used it's a, it? It's a three inch mattress that I got from Amazon. King fun. And um, I can, can we? if you like it, You're just go in the about me section yeah. under my uh, Amazon list of goodies. And if you order it through my list, I can, <laughs> I stand to make 78 cents and that's win-win. Yeah. All right. I, uh, well, the next day I unpacked all my stuff and going through it, making sure there was nothing broken on the way. Um, it's quite a hefty pile. I'll, uh, show you folks. That is 80 fine pieces of dirty iron. Ranging from uh, size 6 all the way up to a number 14, which is, you know, 15, 15 and a quarter. Um, marked Wagner, unmarked Wagner. The difference is, uh, difference between marked and unmarked is just value, like collectability. And it ranges anywhere between 5 bucks and maybe even 20 or 30, depending on the size or how uh, rare a piece is. A couple squares. Stack of Lodge, unmarked Wagner, a lot of Birmingham Stove and Range mixed with Century Series, and got some uh, Red Mountain mixed in there too. Ken knows the rules, always buy lids, my gosh, they're hard to find and uh, they definitely add value as far as selling them, but also, having a lid is kind of neat for some cooking applications. Mark Wagner. It's a Red Mountain. Got some chicken fryer action. A couple chicken fryers with no lids. This is, uh, yeah. Ken let this one slip and so did I, so I'll have to talk. Ken, if you're watching this, this is a Wagner. You put it in the Wagner 10 pile, but that is actually a 9, so... Got a watch, bro. The nines are a little bit more rare. Some tens. These giant roasters from Lodge, uh, they're a pain in the butt. They got away like 22 pounds a piece. And, uh, but they sell probably for, he told me a little higher than I thought. He told me in the 150 range, so that's kind of neat. Two big boys, got a Birmingham stove and range, and then a Lodge. And then I had some money left over, so I dipped into his gold pile, the G word, Griswold. So these are all small logos, except for the seven. The seven's a large, but it has some boogers on it. And then this thing, I definitely paid more than I like, but I'm trying to remain friends with the guy. A little Griswold action with the lid, so that's cool. That's all she wrote. Now I have to do the fun part and uh, sort through it, start giving it the business, and then I can start selling it to you folks. And um, whew, what a journey, man. I, uh, I wish I got better gas mileage. That thing gets, well, honestly, if I did 60, it gets about 20 miles a gallon, but who does 60? Um, I hit a bunch of traffic in the DC area. All in all, I think I drove like 26 hours of the last 48 hours, so. I caught up on my sleep last night. I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go. It's selling season, so let's do it. As always, this is Cast Iron Kev. I think we'd all do better.